So how much exercise do you need when you're taking Herbalife? And do you need to exercise at all? I'm going to explain about this in today's video. So welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Jing here from Authentic Energy. All right, so I get this question too many times and I'm very happy, you know, as someone that is also a fitness coach, I'm very happy to cover this topic in today's video. Okay, so before I jump into like giving you the answer of like yes or no or like the hours and the minutes that you need, I do want you guys to actually remember this philosophy, okay, in terms of when you want to change your body and when you're working on body transformation, health transformation, it's not just you know about okay so before i jump into giving you guys you know the answers and the breakdowns i'm going to show you guys in a minute i do want you guys to remember something right especially that uh, if you're new and you just come into like the whole community of herbal life nutrition healthy active lifestyle a lot of you guys may not actually know you know what is the formula what is the principle here um, am i just taking the products and then i can just lose all the weight so if you're new here and you haven't heard of the 80 20 principle which basically refers to 80% nutrition and 20% fitness okay and if you've been in Herbalife for some time you probably have heard this 80-20 concept you know for a while right so for you that means for you to change your body change your weight um, you know transform your health a lot of it 80% of it actually comes down to nutrition it comes down to how you eat right what you feed your body with and then 80% right comes from your body movement your exercise Okay, so this is basically looking at everything in a very simple, like, you know, the grand scheme of things, right? There are more details and more kind of factors that contribute to our body change, our health change as well. And if you guys remember in uh, a couple of my previous videos, I have also shown you guys this hierarchy, this pyramid, this hierarchy of the main factors that contribute to our body change, right? So apart from nutrition and exercise, all the in between, we also have sleep sleep, stress management, and daily movement. So um, I just want to show you guys this very quickly so that you actually understand, you know, the, the philosophy, right? Um, you know, you can look at it simply as, you know, it's 80% nutrition, 20% fitness. So you can see here that nutrition is really like the key factor here, right? And we do need both. We do need the, you know, the exercise and the nutrition together, but as well as, you know, managing your sleep, managing your stress, and also, you know, like being on the move on on day to day basis. So now you guys want to ask me this, right? Can I just remove the exercise and just work on nutrition? Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, only if, okay, I as someone that's also a fitness coach, I will tell you this, right? Yes, I do believe that, you know, um, different people have different, you know, commitment in life and different lifestyle and work schedules. Not everyone is actually able to make time and space, you know, to do the exercise. So when you are not able to exercise, which is really the case for a lot of you guys, all right, let me know in the comment below if you're someone that's like, really, my life right now, I just don't have any space, any time. I cannot squeeze any time to exercise. I hear you. I understand. I've been there myself too. So what happens? What do I suggest if you just cannot exercise at all? Yes, you can focus on your nutrition, just work on your nutrition, make sure that you know, you're following a nutrition plan with your coach and you're using the products correctly. However, what you can do in the meantime is to increase your daily movement. So if you're someone that's like, I just cannot exercise, okay, that's okay. We can focus on you know, how we can increase your daily movement. And what do I mean by that? Okay, things like, you know, instead of like always driving to, you know, places, is there any way that you can actually just walk instead or take public transport, right? So you're giving yourself more opportunities for you to stand, for you to move around instead of like sticking to the sitting down, the sedentary lifestyle, right? And in some cases, you know, you can actually park your car a little bit further so that it gives you, you know, it gives you the chance to walk a bit more and, you know, and also things like do more kind of like house chores or play with your kids a bit more, get a standing desk, right? So when you are standing, you're actually helping your body burn more calories than sitting down. So it's really about kind of like giving yourself the chance to change your habits, change your movement habits, so that, you know, you give yourself more chance to stand rather than sitting down, 
right? So taking the stairs and what else? Like if you are scrolling on your phone, taking your phone call instead of sitting down, are you able to do that standing? Okay, so these are some simple, you know, examples that I'm, you know, showing you guys, and just hopefully to give you guys some, you know, inspirations to, you know, increase your daily movement, right? So that's all you need to do, right? You can just kind of like, I'll say you do have to make slight, you know, in, intentional movement to give yourself more chances to move around if you can't exercise, right? Like I've been there a lot of times, especially like postpartum. I just didn't have time, and also my body was not able to like jump straight into an exercise. But I was able to like uh, I gave myself, you know, the um the the opportunity to move around more, and I had no choice. I had to move around a lot when I was taking care of the newborn and also my toddler. So I was actually. Unintentionally, intentionally, every day I was moving a lot more and helping my body, you know, burn healthy amount of calories, right? So this is the first thing you can commit, and I believe a lot of you guys probably fall into this category, right, where you just don't have time, you just can't exercise at all. That's okay. Focus most of your energy, eighty percent, on your nutrition program. Okay. However, you know the twenty percent comes from just doing a little bit more walking, right? You can do that, or maybe take the stairs, just that. Okay, and that can already help you and make a big change too. So this is like my、uh, suggestion number one for those of you that just can't exercise and you're like, I don't. I just don't want to exercise right now. I'm not ready. That's fine. Just see if you can like move a bit more. All right. Now, so some of you fall into the category of like, I want to start exercising. I haven't been exercising for a long time, years, months. I want to start again. Okay, my suggestion for you is just do ten minutes a day. Okay, ten minutes a day. You don't have to go hard. Right, especially if your body is like still recovering from something, and your body needs time to build up the strength and the mobility and everything and flexibility as well. So I don't want you guys to throw yourself into something high intensity for ten minutes a day because that's not going to be sustainable, right? Like you may do ten minutes a day hard, you go hard and fast for a couple of days, and then you just throw in the towel. You're like, I'm done because my body's so sore. I've gone too hard. Don't be desperate. Okay, this is what I want to tell you guys. You know, like、uh, out of my nine years of coaching, I have seen so many students in my class that come in. They want to lose X Y Z amount of weight, so they go hard. They're like, you know, I want to really get there, so I want to work myself <laughs> till I drop. But I always tell everyone, you know, like don't push yourself too hard, especially if you're just getting started. Again, or you're just making a start. You want to gently ease yourself into the lifestyle. Right. Otherwise, you're really gonna—it's not sustainable. You're really gonna give up very fast. Okay. So let me know in the comment below if you're someone that's just making a start. You want to, you know, start exercising again. My suggestion is ten minutes a day. Like, what kind of exercise can you do for ten minutes a day? Anything that you you actually like, and you can actually try different things for ten minutes. It's only ten minutes a day, right? So、um, you know, I don't want you to kind of like go, oh yeah, oh、uh, I I I will push it to one hour a day. Can I do that? I will say try and see if you can actually do ten minutes a day, seven to ten days straight. Okay, if you can commit to that, then we can talk about you know increasing your volume, increasing your intensity, right? You can try a wide range of things if you haven't done or haven't tried anything before, right? Like yoga, Zumba, home workout, or kickboxing, gentle running, and power walking. I've just you know put out some examples here, right? Like. It's really not up to me to tell you what you need to do exactly. Like you know, you have to do kickboxing. No, because I don't know what your body is capable of, right? And also for a lot of you guys, you may have some kind of like、uh, existing、um, conditions, right? Maybe some of you have like lower back pain or knee pain, or you know, like、uh, certain like injuries from before. So you are not able to do something you know high impact and fast. Then you know you gotta be very aware of what your body is capable. Off, right, so you probably have to stay away from certain things like running or jumping, right, and just ease yourself into it. Do yoga, Pilates, and those of you that love dancing, you know, get yourself into the grooves, right? You can do Zumba. That's a really popular one. Just ten minutes a day, right? And my recommendation for you is, if you're just getting started, you're trying out ten minutes a day. 
pick something that's fun and pick something that's not too hard. Of course, you know, pick something that's that can be slightly challenging, right? Like they always say that if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, right? So slightly challenging, but not so challenging to the point where you know you just want to give up and then you get discouraged from you know. Keep exercising. So I don't want you to pick something that's that hardcore. Okay, do not go for CrossFit, for example. <laughs> If you're like, you know, I'm a newbie, my body is like an exercise virgin. You know, don't jump straight into CrossFit. Okay, <laughs> it might kill you. Right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's you see my point here, right? All right. Now, for the folks that are like, you know, got a bit of experience, you've kind of like passed a bit of that absolute beginner stage. You're like, yeah, I'm still kind of a beginner, but I'm a beginner plus or beginner to intermediate level. I want more. I'm ready to commit to something like a long, ongoing, healthy, active lifestyle. Then my recommendation for you is to try 115 minutes a week. Okay. So、um, this is, you know. Something that for people that you can you can still be beginner, but you know you want to do more than just you know ten minutes a day. Like you really want to stick to some kind of routine, right? So、um, yeah, one hundred and fifty minutes a week. So that's、uh, roughly you know two and a half hours in total. Okay, it's also very achievable for people that are committed and you're like you know I can sort of like. Uh, schedule it and program it into my weekly schedule, right? And also, you know, the World Health Organization also recommends, you know, doing minimum 150 minutes of exercise a week. So I think their recommendation is、uh, 150 minutes to to two three hundred three hundred minutes a week, right? In order to maintain your body, to you know, keep yourself healthy physically. Right, so 150 minutes. What does that look like? I have just a quick suggestion here for you guys. Of course, it can be done in all sorts of creative ways, right? It really depends on what works for your lifestyle. So I got three options here. Just simple suggestion, and let me know in the comment below if you're someone that's kind of doing that 150 minutes a week, right? It doesn't have to be strictly 150 minutes, but around that, right? So option one, you have like three days a week. You can do three days a week, and each day you commit to about 15 minutes, 50, 50, 50 minutes. Okay, so it's nice and easy. I don't need to do every day, every other day. Right, fifty minutes each time, and option two, you could also do five days a week. So some people prefer to say go to the gym or go to like fitness classes after work or before work or lunchtime, and that's you know on the way or you know in that that works well with their work days, right? Like five days of work days. So five days a week, you can do thirty minutes, thirty、uh, minutes each day, right? So it's shorter. Thirty、uh, minutes、um, is actually. I think at thirty minutes is actually pretty good for people that have like other commitments. So thirty minutes a day for five days. This is very popular for a lot of people that you know have a nine to five job, right? And option three, okay, option three is kind of like oh, I know it's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> option three, but it's for people that want to commit to like three days of like you know higher intensity workout. So it's forty minutes each time. Okay, and then they do two days of sort of like more relaxing、uh, routine for the two other days, so fifteen minutes. So typically, it could look like you know,、um, three days we do like you know strength resistance training combined with maybe some cardio intervals, and then two days I'm just gonna treat them as my active rest day. So not complete rest day, but active rest, meaning that you can still do light cardio,、uh, maybe even like Pilates or yoga, something that's like you know、uh, on the lower impact on your body. Fifteen minutes, right? So this one is also very popular for people that like to kind of. Program their you know weekly activity, weekly workout routine a bit more. So this is also you know one of the suggestions. Okay, of course there are so many other ways to program this 150 minutes a week. And let me know in the comment below if you someone if you have a、uh, you know、um, your own kind of program or schedule that's also kind of worked around this kind of、um, you know 100 150 minutes a week. Right? Let me know. I would really love to see it. Right. Okay, now you guys are probably gonna be asking me. Okay, you talk about like how often the frequency and all that, and what kind of exercise can you recommend? Okay, I know sky's the limit, right? But in my opinion, from my experience, right, the most effective workout for fat loss. Okay, I'm just talking about fat loss here, not like muscle building or any other things, but you know, for general like health and 
health maintenance and also for you know weight loss, fat loss. You know the most effective ones are the exercises that combine strength training, resistance training, and cardio together. Because I know some of you guys probably only prefer to stick to cardio only, so you probably end up running on treadmills all the time, right? And you don't see much progress. Okay, this is when I will be coming and go. You need to incorporate some strength training. You need to add some weights, all right? Even if it's just your body weight. Okay, I can talk a bit more about you know exercise in other videos if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. I know I don't really do much video demo kind of workouts you know at the moment, but you know I with my knowledge and you know experience, I'm still very you know still ha very happy to share、uh, more about this. So like in my opinion and also based on my experience, when you get like how you can get a really good fat loss result aside from working on your nutrition. Is also when you actually work on your strength and cardio combined. So I put down some ex,、um, some exercise examples, which include strength and cardio together. So things like circuit training, boot camp, boot camp. I'm a boot camp girl here. Kickboxing and hit high intensity interval training. Right. I think a lot of you guys have heard about hit, and hit is very popular. But I do want to mention to you guys that you got to be very careful doing hit because you don't want to hit. Too hard, okay. So hit is only meant for like you know doing this. I'll say three times a week or four maximum because you hit so hard and it's not recommended to do hit every every day. So if you do plan to do hit, you gotta make sure that you know you have some foundation, you have some fitness foundation, so that you don't do one session of hit and then you give up or you injure yourself. Right, so I don't want you guys to injure yourself. A lot of times during my bootcamp classes, I, you know, I incorporate a little bit of hit, moderate, you know, intensity hit, and I see that you know a lot of beginners they really, they go really hard, which is great. I really admire, you know, the the you know the 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 spirit and the attitude. But also at the same time, if you don't have any foundation, if you're like a newbie, then take it easy. Okay, go slow. Okay, so these are some of the examples of you know the type of exercises that combine strength training and cardio, and you can find a lot of these kind of like workouts on you know online YouTube and also on my YouTube channel. I also have some exercises, exercise videos I've done before. You can go find out from my playlist.、Um, if you want to kind of like get some basic and some short workout, you know, into your routine. Right, so this is my recommendation here. But of course, I got one more to mention. Those of you guys that are experienced, you are more than just like you know beginner, intermediate. You want more? Oh, I forgot to mention. Of course, apart from the 115 minutes a week, if you want more, you can increase it to obviously 300 minutes or more. But I do have to mention that it's not necessary. The more, the better. Okay, I don't want you guys to be under that false impression that in terms of exercise, the more you do it, the better it is, because you really gotta look at your own physical capability and also what is your goal as well, right? And if you're not able to recover, if your body is not able to recover after a, you know, a hard workout or moderate workout, and the If you don't have the right nutrition, sports nutrition, or you know just your day-to-day -day nutrition to help you replenish and recover, then I don't recommend you guys to go too hard or do too long of a workout. Okay, so remember you need to have the rest and recovery and the nutrition to actually complement your workout. Okay, so this is something I have to mention. And I love you guys. Probably want very specific results, right? Maybe certain things, things like body sculpting, bodybuilding, or other very specific sort of like fitness、uh, results. Like for example, if you're looking to train to run for a half marathon or a marathon, or doing trail running competitions and things like that, then I actually recommend you to work with a trainer, work with a fitness or a personal trainer, and have the trainer work out, prescribe you with a personalized workout program that you follow. Right. So, how much you do? What's the volume and intensity? How many hours? That is really going to be worked out between you and your trainer. Right. So that I don't have the absolute answer, but it's really between you and your trainer. So I recommend those of you that really want specific results, then you know、um, it's better to actually have a personalized program. You know, we're talking about having personalized nutrition program, but also with workout with fitness, you can also get a personalized、um, plan. Okay. So、uh, that's for. Or you know, some of you. Let me know if you're someone that loves working with a personal trainer. Okay, I am more of a 
you know, fitness class girl. So I've listed down all the, um, you know, recommendations I've mentioned in today's video, right? So we start from increasing daily movements. Those of you that don't have time to exercise, but you can, you know, sneaking more movements right here and there when you're, uh, while you're working your nutrition, or you can try 10 minutes a day, right? Intentionally make 10 minutes a day to work out, or you can aim for 150 minutes to 300 minutes a week, right? Or lastly, you can follow a personalized work workout program. Okay, so I'll put a bracket here, the green bracket here, most of us fall into most of, you know, like our clients, a lot of you guys watching here, probably fall under these three groups, right, that you don't have time to work out, or you only have like, you know, you're absolute newbie, you want some simple, you could try 10 minutes a day, or you know, if you want something more 150 to 300 minutes a week, right, so most of us fall into this one, right, and let me know in the comment below if, um, you know, this little suggestion here is, um, you know, helpful for you guys, right? Okay, so um, this is like, you know, basically my sharing of, you know, how much exercise and, you know, like how often do you need to exercise and what kind of exercise I can do while I'm taking Herbalife Nutrition. I mean, yes, with the exercise, there's a lot that we can cover as well, but just remember 80-20, okay? 80% nutrition, 20% 20 20 exercise. And, um, you know, if you can't do the exercise part, increase your daily movement and focus remember 80% focus on your nutrition nutrition comes from you know like your herbal program and also your eating your whole food eating as well right and just make sure you are working with a herbal lab coach so that you know you know like where you're going you have a clear direction you know a clear path of you know where you're going and also be able to progress track with your coach as well right um, yeah so thank you so much for watching everybody and if you have more questions about this or any other topics around you know, Herbalife lifestyle, the nutrition and health and wellness and weight loss, let me know and write your comment in the comment below, or you can reach out to me directly on my Instagram or email me. And if you guys want to work with me directly, you're more than welcome to check out, you know, the challenges we have and also the programs I got. You can find out all the links, all the details in the description below, right? And yes, and if you guys want to, you know, get on one of the Herbalife programs with me, you can find the links um, in the description below as well. All right, thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go get some more.